We've had a ton of victories since the United States Supreme Court released their decision in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association Incorporated versus Bruin case. Recently, I've done a couple videos on how courts have said that certain restrictions uh, based off of the Second Amendment have been ruled unconstitutional, specifically uh, marijuana use, being a prohibited person, and also having a civil restraining order without a conviction. Those are huge changes to the status quo of gun control and their brains are melting. I'm gonna tell you some huge updates that we have with some cases that will absolutely affect the rest of the country and it's gonna be beautiful. Before I jump into that, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video and that's Lear Capital. Last year was a terrible year for investors and predictions are that 2023 will be even worse with the upcoming recession. But what did have a really impressive year this past year was gold investments. And 2023 is looking even better as some experts predict gold will be up 100% to $4,000 an ounce. If you're interested in investing in gold, I suggest you call my friends at Lear Capital. The team at Lear will provide helpful information about purchasing gold or converting part of your IRA or your 401k into a gold IRA. Not only are they the best around with over 25 years in business and thousands of five-star reviews, but they also have a 24-hour risk-free guarantee where you can review your investment for 24 hours before committing to it. You can learn more at leargg.com or call 1-800-260-5075. So check them out again, leargg.com, 1-800-260-5075. Thanks to Lear Capital for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, my name is Jared. This is Guns and Gadgets. Welcome. This is where you'll get Second Amendment news every single day. So check the channel back often and make sure you are subscribed so you can stay in the know. And like the video and share the video so more people see it and we break that anti-gun algorithm here on YouTube. So there is a judge in the Southern District of California, way down in San Diego, and his name is Roger T. Benitez. He's known affectionately in California as St. Benitez, because he is a very constitutional-minded judge. He has been a thorn in the side of California when it comes to gun control. I'm going to tell you three huge updates on cases that are sitting in front of Judge Benitez right now, cases he's already ruled on that have been sent back post-Bruin, and this is going to be phenomenal because his ruling is coming very soon, and this is going to be awesome. I'm going to tell you about the three cases. The first one is Miller v. Bonta, and that's California's assault weapon ban case. Huge implications on that. Think of that. There are several states that have assault-style weapon bans based off of how the gun looks. Ooh, oogie boogie, very scary. Attachments, detachable magazine, extendy things, remember the folding thing that goes up, all that craziness. The assault weapon ban in California, Miller v. Bonta. Now, I'll give you a quick synopsis of the three cases. Uh, in June of 2021, Benitez struck the assault weapon ban down as unconstitutional. If you remember, we did a video on that here. Um, it was stayed by the Ninth Circuit three-judge panel shortly thereafter on June 21st. And then came the Bruin decision. After the Bruin decision, a three-judge panel vacated Judge Benitez's ruling. There was no need to do that because he ruled based off of text, history, and tradition. But in order to create a longer timeline to create a longer uh, period or more time for the state to figure out what the hell they can do to go around Bruin, uh, they remanded it back down to Judge Benitez after Bruin. So they sent it right back. They sent the unconstitutional law back down to the judge who said it was unconstitutional and said, do it again, start over from, from anew. So he has. And I'm going to show you on, at the end, uh, when I give you the other two cases, I'm going to show you Judge Benitez what he said yesterday that has gun controllers crying and it's awesome the second case is duncan v bonta and that is the high capacity magazine ban case in california now he ruled on that in 2019 with a summary judgment saying it's unconstitutional and that created freedom week remember there was a, a week's period where where californians can buy regular standard capacity magazines again and they could have them shipped into the state and then benitez put a stay on his own order which was one of the smartest things he ever did pending the appeal process. Um, again, Freedom Week happened, and then the state took took over. Then a three-judge panel affirmed Judge Benitez's, Judge Benitez's summary judgment, saying that it's unconstitutional, which was, I mean, that the Ninth Circuit. <laughs> the Ninth Circuit's crazy. 
But then the Ninth Circuit on Bonk vacated the panel review. And on June 30th of 2022, when uh, the Bruin decision came down, the Supreme Court vacated, it's a GVR, they granted certiorari to the uh, Duncan v. Bonta case. They vacated the ruling, the decision of the Ninth, and they remanded it back. So the Ninth Circuit, when they got it back, they said, how can we make this last forever? I know, let's kick it all the way back. We'll punt it down the line, back to go. Step one, give it to Judge Benitez again, who's going to do the same thing. So this is going to be awesome. And then the third case is Rodi v. Becerra. Rodi v. Becerra, um, uh, Bonta now, I apologize. Becerra was the Attorney General before him. Rodi v. Bonta is the case in which is challenging the... Um, background checks on ammunition law that California whipped into shape. So if you go to buy any ammo, whether it's one round, two cases, you go three times a day, you go seven days a week to buy ammo, every single time California says you should have a background check to purchase ammunition. And we remember, if you remember, there were a ton of false denials, which is the same with the Nix checks, right? A ton of people who have no issues, was proven to have no issues, were denied denied their constitutional right to purchase am- ammo, right? Um, Judge Benitez ruled that unconstitutional. That was stayed by the Ninth Circuit pending appeal. Now, yesterday, Judge Benitez issued several orders on these cases, and I'm going to show you what he said, and you'll see why the anti-gunners are burning down right now. The first one in the case related to assault weapon bans, Miller v. Bonta, he said this. The state defendants are directed to file a brief which identifies the best historical regulation that is a proper analog and relevantly similar to a statewide prohibition on possession of a firearm with listed features. The brief shall be limited to five pages and shall be filed with the brief currently due 30 days after the filing of the law list. And then in the Duncan case, the magazine ban case, he said, the state defendants are directed to file a brief which identifies the best historical regulation that is a proper analog and relevantly similar to a statewide prohibition on possession of an ammunition device or a limit on the amount of ammunition. The brief shall be limited to five pages and shall be filed with the brief currently due 30 days after the filing of the law list. And then finally, in the Rody case, very similar order by Judge Benitez, state defendants are directed to file a brief which identifies the best historical regulation that is a proper analog and relevantly similar to a statewide background check for buying ammunition. Again, same, due uh, with the current brief that's currently due and five pages. Now there's another case in California that he is doing the same thing to, and that's the Fouts v. Bonta case. And that has to do with uh, a billy club ban. So there's some veterans that wanted to purchase a billy club, and it turned into this case that is also in front of Judge Benitez. Now, uh, I believe that I didn't look this up. I'm just going off of memory. I believe that the final day for these closing um, the closing briefs is February 20th of 2023. So uh, today's what the eighth. So two weeks. And then we should have a decision by Judge Benitez. Now, knowing Judge Benitez, if you've been following his uh, Pro 2A ruling career, knowing him, there's a solid chance that his decision's already written uh, because he already knows the text history and tradition. And he's just waiting to see what BS California throws at him so he can address that and maybe add that to his ruling. I don't think it's going to be long. I think, I I really think knowing Benitez and, and how he's responded to cases and his timeline. I'm saying maybe by the end of March, maybe even mid-March, we should have all of these cases ruled unconstitutional, and it's going to be great. Now, what California does from there, we'll have to watch, because if they keep appealing it and it goes to the Supreme Court and strike it down, then there can be no assault weapon ban, magazine ban, background check for ammo, if the Supreme Court says it's unconstitutional. So a lot of eyes are on these cases, guys and gals. And yesterday, Judge Benitez issued his orders, and they don't have long to get them in. Let me know what you think about Judge Roger T. Benitez and these three cases. And uh, I really think, I really think the Bruin decision is going to cause a tidal wave here. And gun control, as we know it, 
is kaput. No matter what Biden said last night about banning everything in the State of the Union. Bruin was a hell of a decision. Let me know what you think down below. Please subscribe to the channel if you're into Second Amendment news. Whether it's good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, I bring it to you every day. So check back often. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's what it's for. Our forefathers died to get that right for us. And uh, this government, they want it so bad. Makes you say, hmm. Take care, y'all.